was to, you know, divulge them again, see what we find. Um, our top concerns are uh, reproductive and potentially really angry fat pad. Um, and it sounds like we ate though. She ate. Yes. Good. Yesterday okay. it was kind of a drive by eating, like a couple bites here and there, and she did go to the bathroom. Good. She drank some water. Like today she ate three times. Good. I just leave the food in there by the camera, so I perfect. See what was in there. Okay. Sounds and good. I got some food, but I don't know if it's too dry. She did it today, but I didn't oh, get it until right me. before we left. Okay. Take a look. Looks a bit dry, but um, that's okay. I'm just happy that she's pooping. Is that the, the first time she's pooped since she's she did? The first one she did was the next day after we were here. Ah, uh, yes, I remember yeah. that. It was real brownish, real light, light colored. And uh, she's walking funny too. Yeah. Um. So how is her? She's still doing that posturing where she like hunches. Not in her. Not in her cage, she isn't. Um, okay. I, I videoed her little walk um, just to kind of see what yeah. I think. Um, I've got her on this stuff, and usually it's that coconut butter, so I don't know if it's... She just seems really, like, wobbly. That's her going to the food dish. Yeah, she seems off. Yeah. She's so cute. I know. Have, you ever, have you ever seen a female bob their head? I haven't like seen males. them. No. Well, I tried to put Chuck back in there just to see what they do, and he, as soon as he started bobbing, she started. She bobbing. reacted. He's right there. Let me see if I can get this way. He's right there. She's right there. <laughs> so you know, I don't know if it's a territory thing or a greeting. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's usually a bit of a. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just, I didn't want to stress her out, but Chuck's been really depressed and oh. he, he stopped at me because she's oh, not Oh, because she's not with him. And I don't want to stress her out and put, him in, put her in there with him. And I can't yeah. catch her as well in his, in that enclosure. It's just a lot of rocks. Hi, babies. Thank you for the tongue clip. That was very nice. Oh, Valentine's Day? She went right up to the camera. Yeah. And licked the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh Valentine's Day kiss. That's adorable. <laughs> Have you noticed her being able to walk around or being less, like, painful since we started the tramadol? Just that wobbly, wobbly. And I haven't been giving it to her the last two days. The yeah. tramadol? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I do worry. Because even right now, the way she's sitting... She just looks tense, like it hurts. She's not puffed, arched like she was when she was in here. It was really loud too, it got quiet, and then it got, I don't know if that's scaring her at all. It, it could, it could, but most of our captive lizard species don't get too reactive to sounds. See, that hurts, she's gulping. So when they do that gulp, it can mean like um ouch like tense i'm, I'm mm -hmm. uncomfortable because right now when i'm pushing like she has this hunched posture she's really tensing her belly and not letting me feel things too much so i do think whatever that is is uncomfortable for sure um i'm wondering if seeing what we're seeing on ultrasound x-ray that that's been there longer than we've realized and then just the getting out for a week exacerbated things and started to make her be like oh i do feel crummy and she's not able to hide it from us anymore um because the concerns of what it could be um something abnormal with her ovaries seeing how large it is and getting dr corcoran's opinion on it as well we are concerned uh, for potentially a cancerous process or just some very big angry inflamed follicles which are you have your ovaries and then they cycle and turn into follicles which look like this like egg yolk material and then they're supposed to drop down into their equivalent of a uterus and that's where they turn into eggs that uh, doesn't always happen with kiddos in captivity i think we talked about that a bit last time um then things can go awry um they can either get infected they can get inflamed they can scar down and ovarian cancer is reported a lot in the literature and lizards in general um 
ultimately our goal today is going to be re-ultrasound, uh, get Dr. Corcoran's opinion on the belly here and you know see what the next steps are. Um, if this is ovarian and what we think it is, ultimately fixing it would be surgery which it, if you don't want to do that i'm not going to like pressure you to but in my experience when they start becoming clinical when they start slowing down when they're painful it can it can get bad kind of quick um we do everything we can to keep them comfortable but sometimes our pain meds uh just aren't enough um but before we talk about big scary things, um, let's just steal her in the back and we'll do another ultrasound if you guys are okay with that. Um, again, that won't be of any charge. We're just including it in the same charge we did a few days ago. Um, just so Dr. Hogan will take a look at it with me here so we can have his eyes on it. Um, any other concerns at this stage and other questions I can answer for you? Okay, sounds good. Well, we'll go ahead and steal your kiddo for a bit. Um, hi. I feel all your <laughs> And we'll get that ultrasound going. Um, and we'll let you know what we find. But I do worry about how that how that structure looks. Hi, babes. Yeah, she's real puffing. She's like, oh, I'm just going to touch you. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll just do the ultrasound. Hi, babes. Okay, well, um, we'll go get that going. Uh, give us just a bit. If you guys wanted to hang out up front or go and grab food or anything, you're welcome to. Um, we're not as behind as we were the other day, so hopefully it doesn't take us as long. Um, so we'll 